456. This one's gonna be a dig for sure. Oh, so difficult. Good morning, Allie. Good morning. We're in the car. I just picked Taylor up. You got anything to say, Tay? Any wise words for us? Um, get more than three and a half hours of sleep. <laughs> You'll be feeling a lot better than me. You know, I've never considered doing that, so that is <laughs> such a good idea. <laughs> I've got a mic. Taylor is really impressed by it. I hope that you are too. Today's a workout day. It's a pretty important workout for me. Good times. This is my first workout since the race because on Tuesday I just did a bike threshold. I'm excited for it, but obviously also a little bit wary just because I've mainly been cross training this week. I'm getting ready to race next weekend. I'm running another steeplechase in LA and I'm hoping that that will be a really good opportunity to test myself because last race I was really focused on getting a time but this time around I really want to focus on racing the people around me and putting myself in the race early on instead of running conservatively as I have for most of my races this year. Today's workout is going to be about following that same mentality and making sure that I push myself early on and trust that I'll be able to hold on even when it's hard. And we're back with another episode of the Athlete Special. We're this here. is my dude, channel. Dude, we got Ali O over here, dude. I'm just gonna man. turn it over to Ian now. This is his channel at this point, so take it away. Welcome to Eggs with Ian. Do some texture, kind of like Spencer's personality. Today's workout, three by mile and five by 300. Tay is gonna hop in for parts of the miles probably. What are you thinking? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna hop in for some like on and off 400s probably. So it'll be fun. A little Ostrander sister duo workout happens once every two or three years. <laughs> <laughs> We're like both healthy and in the same place. There's actually a four year stretch where we just traded off being injured. So <laughs> it's um, not something we pride being known for. Yeah, yeah. It's it's supposed to be a pretty hard workout today, um, but David did prep me today to say that my legs are probably gonna feel bad. And he's usually right about these things, but I'm hoping he's wrong this time. Really encouraging words from him, <laughs> but at least he's mentally preparing you. Well, and then you'll probably feel less bad than you think, and you'll be like, I feel great. Exactly, it makes me feel good though, because I'm like, at least he actually is honest. So yeah, when he tells me sure. I'm gonna feel good, I can believe him. Yeah, yeah. You know? So we're just gonna do a few strides and then we're good to go. So how it's gonna go is I'm doing miles, Taylor's gonna do the first 400 and then jog a 200. So she'll do the first four and then the K to 1400. Yep, and then you'll finish off the last two. Yeah. Drop off here and then pick you up over there. Okay, sounds okay. good. A little jiggy jog into it. Yep. Okay, sounds good. Dig for sure.
Oh, so difficult. 457. How did it feel? Good, but hard. I don't think you've ever done that. Never done that. Never done that before. Never been close. So it feels good, but I still have three hundreds. I'm back in Seattle, which means I'm also back with Georgie. And it's very exciting because I missed him so much when I was traveling. And I'm excited because I have a surprise for Georgie, which is Farmer's Dog dog food. Farmer's Dog is real food designed by veterinary nutritionists for your pet specific needs. You go online and fill out a form and then they provide you with a personalized formulation of dog food as well as personalized serving sizes. So you don't have to have any guesswork with the size of a scoop or whatever. You know that we love Georgie so much and this is just a perfect way to invest in his health. Georgie's meals are also probably his favorite part of the day. So if this can make him enjoy that even a little bit more, it's totally worth it. It's also super convenient because it's a subscription service and it's delivered right to your door at the time that you need it so you never have to worry about running out. Freshen up your dog's diet this year and get 50% off your first fresh box of Farmer's Dog dog food by using my link. Plus, you get free shipping. So just go to the link in my description. And thank you, Farmer's Dog, for sponsoring this video. So bad for those miles. Mm -hmm. Keep it up. Keep it up. much in a workout. It's really good, but I'm just struggling. It's just mentally brutal to get through this one. All right, one to go. All right, last rep. I'm gonna try to make it the fastest. <laughs> I usually don't get annoyed, but when I'm hurting this bad, it's so annoying. People walking in lane one, and two, and three. But why do you need to take three lanes? <laughs> Come on, Allie. Rip it. Let's go. Fun workout. Great workout, honestly. <sighs> Maybe an all timer. Honestly. Probably one of the best of my life. But those threes, they just killed me after the miles. But it's what I wanted. Like I told you, like I want to really push myself to the limits. I feel like this workout did that. That makes me really happy. And I want to bring that same mindset into my next race. This will make me faster and more athletic. That's right, you guys. <laughs> Transparent Labs whey protein, grass-fed, third-party lab tested, and it will make you faster and more athletic. <laughs> she's a PA, a medical professional, and she says it. Just ran an all-out 400. 457.3? How did it feel? It felt pretty decent. I look, I want to do another. Ian's decided Already? on another 400 rep. I think I'm going to get back into it and just create a YouTube channel and just gonna be the anti Spencer Brown, the anti athlete special. Special, the athlete normal? The athlete mundane. So what's your prediction for this one, Spence? I think he's gonna go faster. I think he's gonna no go 56 way. 9. You're okay, you're secretly thinking the same thing. I'm not. You wouldn't be doing another one if you didn't think you could go faster. No, you're okay, maybe. <laughs> you might hit a 70. <laughs> Let's go, Ian. Go, 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 go. Push. Push, push, push. Oh my gosh. Last time he said 80%. This is 105%. He is ripping. He's hanging on to it. Oh, the lockup is starting though. You can see it. This wins for all the marbles. Bring it in. Let's go. Woohoo! Let's see it. 
but we're all just say 56.9. This is just what I needed to feel good about like quitting running. <laughs> the validation. Hey, sub 57 though. Nice work. Yeah, okay, you can stay here. We're gonna head out though. I just finished lift and I'm about to head home. We are going to a women's soccer game tonight, so I'm really excited because I grew up playing soccer, so it's always really fun to watch. But today was very good. I was shocked by that workout. I did not expect myself to be able to do that. And so also coming off the race where I was shocked, it's just momentum is building and I'm really, really proud of where I'm at right now and how I've been able to get here. A lot of me, when I started recovery, never believed that I would be fast again. So to be in this place where I'm feeling stronger and better and faster than ever is really amazing and it just makes me so excited for what's coming. Are you happy with your hot dog? Delighted. 